Modern life is filled with writing. In fact, I bet you've already encountered several different types of writing before watching this video. Think of all the emails, texts, websites, tweets, articles, and more that have already filled your day. But just because writing surrounds us doesn't mean we're always prepared to understand what it's telling us or how it's crafted. For instance, how do we identify the purpose of our writing? How do we decide what writing is effective or how the context a piece of writing exists in changes over time? And what makes a good writer anyway? Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Zarka, and welcome to Study Hall Rhetoric and Composition. I'm an English professor, writer, host, and monster expert. When I'm not teaching composition, literature, and film and media courses at ASU, I work as an online educator for PBS. My show Monstrum led to the creation of PBS's first all-humanities-based YouTube channel, Storied. And with a title like Storied, it's probably not surprising that while I'm an expert in the gothic genre and the undead, more broadly, my research looks at the importance of storytelling as a way to understand human history and one another. That's why I'm so passionate about teaching composition. If we learn how to share our own opinions and experiences more effectively, we stand a better chance of making the world a better place. As we'll explore in our first episode, rhetoric is observing how and what we're trying to do with our communication, and composition is the study of how we put together our arguments. Together, they help us both understand written communication more broadly and also make choices that make writing less stressful and more effective for our goals. Basically, we're studying communication, which can help us understand the world around us better and write better in response to what we read and view. So over the next 30 episodes, we'll talk about specific kinds of writing we're likely to encounter and how to craft them, from resumes to analytical writing, from research-based writing to reflection essays. And I'll even let you in on a sneaky secret. Everyone can get better at writing. Whether we've had lots of writing success already or not, it's true. From those of us struggling to string two sentences together in an email to the fanciest writer you can think of, we've all got at least a short wish list of ways we'd like our writing to go better. Maybe we want to be misunderstood less often, or maybe we want to write with less stress and worry. So together, we'll dive into all the ways we can use structured, systematic approaches to writing. Because really, writing is a process, and no matter how we've struggled in the past, there are strategies that will help us see better writing each time. Lots of people have thought through methods for writing certain kinds or genres of writing, and we benefit from their expertise. Then later on, we'll also analyze how the written word accomplishes so many different goals and how we can interpret the persuasive power and purpose of all types of communication. So really, studying rhetoric and composition lets us be more thoughtful about all the complex and difficult choices we're already making all the time. We're all writers, and by exploring the methods and strategies within rhetoric and composition, our writing becomes more influential, literally giving us more power to connect with others, advocate for things that matter to us, and effectively get stuff done. I can't wait to start writing with you. Thanks for watching Study Hall Rhetoric and Composition, which is part of the Study Hall Project, a partnership between ASU and Crash Course. If you liked this video and want to keep learning with us, be sure to subscribe. You can learn more about Study Hall and the videos produced by Crash Course and ASU in the links in the description. See you next time.